Muons are subatomic particles with a half-life of approximately 2.2 millionths of a second. After this time, half of any given number of muons will have decayed into other particles. Even moving at their maximum speed, which is very high, they can only travel about 450 meters before half of them decay. It would seem that muons formed in the upper layers of the atmosphere, at over 15,000 meters high, could not reach the Earth's surface due to their short lifespan. However, surprisingly, more than 10,000 muons collide with every square meter of the Earth's surface every minute. How is this possible? Due to the extremely high speed of muons, from the Earth's point of view, the time they experience is significantly extended. This time dilation is what allows muons to reach the Earth's surface, despite having traveled several thousand meters. Therefore, it is time dilation that explains how muons can reach the Earth, from the perspective of an observer on Earth. An individual with a stopwatch on Earth would observe that muons take around 50 s to complete their journey, a much longer time than the half-life of muons. But what happens from the perspective of the muons themselves? In their inertial frame of reference, the half-life of muons is not affected. If there were a tiny person sitting on a muon holding a stopwatch, that person would see that after 2.2 s, half of the muons they are traveling with have decayed. Instead, from the perspective of the muons, the space in the direction they are moving is significantly contracted. Therefore, those 15,000 meters would be reduced to just a few hundred meters, allowing muons to reach the Earth's surface in less than 2.2 s. Therefore, it is these two effects, time dilation and space contraction, that explain how these particles do not decay before being detected by our sensors on Earth. This is how muons cheat and can travel distances greater than they could in a given time without relativistic velocities.